Okay, 2019 Frontier War March, and I think it's a good thing that we keep it going because um, we have a story to tell and we need it to be recognised. And we must make every effort to get them to recognise that our people in the frontier conflicts uh, did in fact fight for our land. They fought for the protection of our land. They fought to keep our land. And they, and they fought hard. They were not going to give it away. And they shed a lot of blood and lost a lot of lives. There was a lot of military intervention as a result of free settlers being killed and the authorities sent them out to suppress and put down these uprisings by our people. What happened during this period is many thousands of people were killed. Unfortunately, many of our people still lay on the ground. Their bones are still scattered. They've never been buried. There's, there are no memorials. And I think it's time we started to make this, everybody realise that we need memorials up to our dead just as much as the memorials are to those who went and fought overseas, you know, to supposedly for the protection and the freedom of, that we share now. We must remember our fallen in this country on our land. A lot of blood was shed. So it is important that we remember them as well. It, it just simply takes the Australian government to have a will to change the law in respect of the war memorial. And that will must also include the lives lost by Aboriginal people. I believe that um, we recognise that at a national level and that we understand that and let everybody know where all these massacres occurred. Like, we cannot ignore the fact that there were private killings as well by private citizens, and that was murder. And um, when Aboriginal people talk about truth-telling, we need to talk about those murders, and we need to identify those people, because they were murderers. They killed people, and there is no time limit on murder. And so we need to make sure that we give reverence to those who lost their lives uh, fighting for their country, here in this country, on our homelands. And we have a right to remember, and we have a right to memorialise that memory. But we need to bury our dead. We cannot go through life and think we're going to fix a situation up in this country if we first can't bury the dead.